tell you, yeah. I'll tell you one. This is one of the early stories, and so I don't. I think you all are very aware that one of the most popular experiences that we provide for guests is character dining, and so the original Disney Springs was the Lake Buena Vista shopping village, and at its inception, it was created for local residents. And so the opening shops there had an apothecary, a post office. Um, clothing stores, uh, a pet store, the, not the kinds of things that most tourists buy, again, by design. And then when I transferred there and opened the Empress Lily, it became very clear to us that if we wanted to attract local residents during the holiday season, that we were going to have to understand what department stores were doing at the time. And if you all recall, there was a concept of breakfast with Santa and mm -hmm. most of the big department stores would have it in their restaurant. So we said, well, let's um, try breakfast with Santa on the Empress Lily if we want to compete. And so we did that and it worked. And so we said, hmm, okay, well, we don't want to just have people come during the holiday season. So in the springtime on spring break, for the very first time, we tried breakfast with Snow White and her friends. The thing that was important was that was the first time the characters had come to Lake Buena Vista. Prior to that, even to come to the hotels was, you know, something unique. It had to be a big convention or something like that. And so that was a gamble. And to get convince people that let us try it, let us try it. And in fact, it was a huge success. And so then we went to a daily character breakfast there, which then it morphed over. I think Chef Mickey's was the next one and, and you know the story after that. So that's how it all began, but it was, it was a, a, wow. a risk that we took, so.